Hey everybody, welcome to Creed Saturday Morning Episode 2, I'm Creed. And today what I'm working on is Flaps the Elephant from Disney's cartoon Bonkers. Now this one's sort of obscure, he was only in two episodes, I thought he was cool though. Uh, Bonkers was a Disney cartoon, and uh, like I said, and it ran for 60 episodes in 1993 and 1994. As far as I know, it's not being rerun anywhere lately, so it's it sort of drifts out of people's memory, I guess. But uh, I remember it, and I like this guy, so I just decided to draw him. He's in two episodes, menacing the citizens of Toontown. <laughs> and he's actually a pretty evil character for the kind of show he's in. He'll stick a gun in somebody's face without a second thought. He even has a machine gun he shoots at the cops. Now, they point out that his ammo is only peanuts, but it also shows him use it, use the gun to shoot a new doorway in a wall, so it's no toy. Uh, Flaps is jealous of Dumbo's big ears, because his are so small. He's a pretty cool villain for an often overlooked Disney cartoon, anyway. Now, the voice of Flaps was uh, Joe Alasky. And actually, Joe Alasky just died, like this year, early this year. He was the successor to Mel Blanc for uh, a lot of the Warner Brothers voices. And he specifically did the voice of Plucky Duck on Tiny Toons. Now, I noticed in the first two videos I made, there's a few sound editing things that I'm still working out and I'm trying to work on the placement of this microphone it seems like it has two settings like it's like Grover's microphone it's either near or far I sound like I'm across the room or it's up my nose I'm still working on all this recording and video editing stuff so watching these videos you may have noticed uh, that I have a little bit of an accent <laughs> Yeah, that's because I'm from the beautiful island of Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, Canada. Out on the east coast. Matter of fact, the ocean is right out my window. So anyway, that's, that's where the accent comes from. And if you're from the States and you think that when you get to Canada, there's an ice wall guarded by polar bears, not so much. Cape Breton's climate is a lot like Maine. So there's not really a lot of difference here on the East Coast. Although we have better lobsters. <laughs> now I have lived far away from the ocean and uh, I don't recommend it for anybody. Where I lived was great and the people were fantastic but the glaring thing wrong was no ocean <laughs> and um, I feel super glad and lucky to be back by the ocean again so I want to talk a little bit about what uh, made me start this channel up. last year sometime I was on Facebook and I saw a message what a great convention everything went fantastic something like that uh, we'll do it again next year and I looked and it was there was a local convention that I, I had no idea about and it was already over so, I come up with a plan to get an artist alley table at the next one, and I went to YouTube to learn what to do, and I, I found Scott Circlin from Cirqueworks, and he has a great series on what he does at conventions and how he builds a table and props and different stuff he does, and it's actually, it's fantastic, by the way, you should check that out if you're interested in going to a convention as an artist. And then I started watching all the rest of his videos, and he does a lot of great stuff over there. He's the he's the artistic mad scientist of YouTube. So he he kind of inspired me to uh, start thinking about maybe making my own channel because I figured if he gets good exposure from YouTube, that's how I found him. So maybe I could spread my art around a little more. And he actually does a show with Jeff Lafferty and Kevin Cross were also two really great, really, really great artists. And so I like to watch their show, and it's usually at least an hour long, so it's a really good show to draw with. 
So then it's 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 almost like you're in a bullpen doing your art instead of just by yourself. And I was super impressed at how Jeff Lafferty has turned art into his living. And I started thinking that I love drawing all this stuff, and I draw it because I want to draw it. But I have all this all this great art sitting here that I'm not doing anything with. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, in sometime in the near future, I'm gonna do some prints and products, or I'm not sure yet. It's still coming together. But I'm actually gonna do something with all this art I've got. So stay tuned for that. So I'm inspired by YouTube artists, but also I want to mention another great artist I love to listen to. His name is Jordan Shell, and whether you know it or not, you've seen lots of his stuff. He's an amazing sculptor and character designer. He's worked on some of your favorite movies and was on the amazing Travel Channel show Making Monsters, which you can still find here on YouTube somewhere. In his audio blog, uh, he calls it Freelance Horseshit, and he tells lots of stories about really screwy clients he had and other crazy things. It's a zany, wacky, cool, awesome show, and I really love listening to it, so that inspired me too. So that's what this is going to be. I'm, I'm not just doing a play-by-play -play of what I'm doing on the screen. I'm going to talk about lots of stuff. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to become the king of the internet or uh, the richest guy on YouTube. This is this is to spread my art. This is about my art. This is more about my art than it is about me. Because I love the art I make and I just want more people to see it and maybe they'll love it too. So that's the idea behind this channel and I'm making this channel so it helps me make more art so if five people watch that's fantastic welcome aboard and if ten people watch even better but either way I'm still gonna make these I'm doing something a little bit different for me with the background here I'm I'm using an actual photograph a, a stock photo of a circus tent and I think it just fits here perfectly. And so far all these videos have been sped up and I know sometimes you can't see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, but if you have a, ever have any questions or anything about my process, yeah, just post your questions in the comments. I'd be more than happy to hear from you. So when I started making all this cartoon art, I had to change my style a little bit. I had to, I had to use a little less black to make room for all the colors because the these guys don't don't really look like themselves without the bright colors from the show so I had to make more room and I had to allow my art to be a little brighter and happier even though that's not really what I, I usually like to do but I think it's worked out I, I found a nice balance between darkness and bright color so Flaps is cartoon bad guy number 78 in my gallery and actually I realized when I started this channel that I started with number 77 villain 77 which is Dick Dastardly but it's kinda weird for me to start at 77 of a series that I was running over on DeviantArt and there aren't 77 videos of me making all this stuff so I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do a recap video showing all my other villains that I I did before I started this channel so look forward to that coming soon but in the meantime if you want to check it all out you can check it out in my DeviantArt account and I, I always put the link down in the description that's been my home base for my all my art stuff for the last four years so it's so it's well worth a look and there's a lot more than cartoon villains over there I, and I and I and I draw some really obscure things that I think maybe only I remember, but it turns out there's always somebody out there who does. Like this guy, for example. I mean, I I don't think anybody would think of, oh, you're gonna draw something. Why don't you draw Flaps the elephant from Bonkers? Nobody would think of that, but I did, <laughs> and I, I I really like how it came out too. So I like to keep my art sort of mixed up and random in the, the order that I do them. So Flaps is an elephant, and for example, I have a couple of other elephants that elephant characters that I do want to draw. Dr. Mastin from 
Project Eager, absolutely, and uh, Elleru from the Wuzzles. But now that I've drawn an elephant character, I'm going to wait a while until I do another one. Just to keep the mix nice and random. So if you're one of those cartoons that are just for kids people, uh, first of all, you're watching the wrong channel. <laughs> and second of all, you're very, very wrong. There are cartoons that are for kids. Uh, Caillou, Magic School Bus, Arthur, those are for kids. All the ones I love, were they were made targeted at kids, but targeted at me as a kid. They're not for kids these days, they're not for kids before that. I am their target audience, and that's G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats, etc, etc, etc. And I still love all of those just as much as the first time I ever saw them, because they are great, period. They're just great. So I don't feel bad for loving great things made by incredibly talented writers, artists, voice actors. And actually I know people who have the attitude, well I'm a, I'm a man, I have to, uh, I wear a suit and I have paperwork in my briefcase, I can't watch cartoons. Uh, that's, that's really ridiculous and you're, you're creating a mental cage in your life where I'm this age so I can do this and I'm that age so I can't do that. Like what you want to like. If something's kick ass, it's kick ass. This channel is, is going to be all about positivity because it's here to encourage me to make more art. So really if you, if you have any negative comments that you want to make, save yourself some time. Just give me a thumbs down. I'll, I'll get the message. But to waste more seconds of your life typing out something negative, uh, there's no need of that. We need more positivity in the world. I, I can make a channel just about things I hate. What good is that to me or anybody else? You gotta make something. If you're gonna do something, do it about something you love. And I love my art. And I want to make more. And that's why this channel's here. So I'm going to really stay positive. If there's something that I have to mention that I don't like, I'll either mention it just in passing. I'm not going to get into it. But most of the time I'm going to avoid stuff I don't like because it's not worth my time. If I really don't like something, what am I wasting seconds, precious seconds of my life talking about it for? So I think I can safely say that this has been the best Flaps the Elephant fan art that you have ever seen. <laughs> and... Uh, Actually, I know what my next two pieces are. Uh, it's going to be the Toad Squadron from Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars. And then we're going to do my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character of all time, Baxter Stockman. Uh, so look forward to those. And just in general, thanks for stopping by. Ah, uh, sorry Mario, the princess is in another castle. No, seriously, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a subscription link if you need it. And uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you feel. So uh, until next time, take her easy.